you're checking out two top home server platforms in 2025, Casa OS and Proxmox. By the end, you'll know exactly which one fits your setup. First, Casa OS. It's a sleek, open-source, personal cloud built on Docker that can run on old laptops, Raspberry Pi, or mini PCs. You get this beautiful web dashboard where installing apps like Plex, Nextcloud, Jellyfin, or even AI tools is a single click away. It supports hundreds of Docker apps, works on Ubuntu, Debian, and ARM devices, and puts media, file management, and system monitoring all in one place. It's free, beginner-friendly, and incredibly fast to set up. The catch, it's not a full virtualization hypervisor, so if you want full VMs, Casa OS isn't enough on its own. Now, Proxmox VE. This is an enterprise-grade virtualization platform based on Debian and handles KVM virtual machines and LXC containers through a powerful web GUI, offers high availability clustering, ZFS and Ceph storage integration, live migrations, integrated backups, and even advanced network and firewall options. It's open source and free with paid support available. But it does require some Linux know-how and its interface isn't as polished or app store simple as Casa OS. So which one should you go for? If you want a plug and play home cloud that's quick to launch and easy to manage, go with Casa OS. If you're building a robust home lab with full VMs, containers, clustering, and backup flexibility, Proxmox is hands down the better choice. In short, Casa OS simplicity and speed, Proxmox control and scalability. Pick based on whether you're a casual self-host or a power user.